curator Henry Duffy on being remembered. A park ranger stands beneath a tree. Two seated park rangers. So amongst all of St. Gaudens' works, uh, you know, different pieces have different resonances for different people. Um, you'd probably know these works better than most people. Which pieces have the strongest resonance for you? I'm often asked that. And on the one hand, I, I say, it's like asking a parent which is the favorite child. But on the other hand, I realize that's a kind of a cop-out to the question. So, so um, my favorite portrait is actually the portrait of General Sherman. And it's my favorite because for some reason in that one, I see St. Gardens really cutting through the surface and getting to the man, getting to the personality um, behind it. And it, it's so intriguing to me that it caused me to actually go and read the memoirs of Sherman and some biographies to find out. And, it, and actually, when you do that, you, can, you find that the portrait encompasses a lot of his life. Um, in a very subtle way. And that's, the, of course, the magic of a great artist, that he's able to do that. But um, the, the, the thing that's on the surface that everybody notices is the wonky tie, the, 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 the crooked tie. And um, St. Gaudens um, sat with the general uh, for 18 sessions, um, which is a considerable amount of time to sit with someone. and Because and, um, each session is maybe three hours or four hours, something like that. And at one point, St. Gaudens said, this is for immortality, General. Don't you want to fix your tie? And Sherman is supposed to have answered, I'm the general of the army. I wear my tie any way I want. And so there it is. And I think that tells you kind of all you need to know about Sherman. I mean, it just, it's, it, it, tells, it tells you about his personality. But if you look at the face again and you look at the, the subtlety of the eyes and so on, you see that beyond that bombast, there was complexity and there was um, a man who was very human. And you find that when you read about him. You find that when Sherman was first in the military, one of his first engagements didn't go well. And he was roundly criticized for it. And he couldn't handle criticism, so he quit. And he went back to Ohio where he was born and opened a dry goods store. But he was not a dry goods merchant. That was just not going to be his destiny. When he came back to the military, he came back with fire. He came back having worked out his insecurities and saying, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And then you get the Sherman <laughs> of, you know, of fame, that the people know eh, either love or loathe now. Um, that portrait, it's not just me who finds it compelling. Um, that's the one portrait that when it was first exhibited um, in Philadelphia um, at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, uh, I think 1885, caused an overnight sensation. Um, people immediately said, there's no other portrait of the general that's worth anything. This is it. This captures the man. Um, that's interesting because St. Gaudens thought that his piece, that as he said would astonish the world, was his first piece that he did, which was a marble figure of Hiawatha. Didn't astonish anybody. Um, it, it's a, a fairly pedestrian piece, I mean, in, in, his, in, in, in his standards. Um, it's a good piece. I, 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 you know, I couldn't do it, but but it's but it's but it's uh, you know but it's fairly plain, but um, 
it's interesting. Um, we all have these moments of, you know, what we think is going to be the thing that uh, will be remembered for may not be at all, and it may be um, something entirely different. Um, but I think, for instance, St. Gardens thought that his best Civil War monument was the Sherman. Um, and nowadays, most people look at the Shaw Memorial and think that the Shaw Memorial is a far greater piece. It's interesting. For him, it was the Sherman. Um, so, you know, he was looking at it as the guy who created it, not as someone who's looking at it from the outside, so he's going to see it differently. But um, that's always intriguing. Um, so then I think as I'm getting toward retirement, I think, well, what will I be remembered for? And I think, well, um, I don't know, in some, in some ways, maybe not much. Um, I think in, in, most, <laughs> in most jobs that I've been in, I think that I've really done great. And then I go back and I see that almost everything I've accomplished has been changed. And then I realize that that's, of course, going to happen because the next person comes along and creates his or her own area. So that's what happens. But I like to think that here at the park, um, there are some things um, like the Howland piece that's here and like the standing Lincoln uh, Memorial um, that will be remembered as things that I had a hand in, in bringing. Um, and um, if that happens, I'll be pleased. I'll be happy with that. A park ranger stands beneath a tree, arrowhead emblem of the National Park Service. St. Gaudens National Historical Park, your national park for the arts.